And each week at this time, we find out whether or not it's a great day to grow. And we think every week and every day is a great day to grow. We have Chuck Rennes here from Rennes Greenhouse, uh, proving once again that he is the man. I loved your wife's update on your Facebook profile picture, I might add. Uh, it, did, it did look very, very nice. For those people that aren't friends with uh, Chuck Rennes, uh, what are you waiting for? Because he does have a very classic picture of what's going on there. Look at that. That looks stunning. Huh. That's a that's a great. What a picture. good looking couple. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. It really did. But uh, I, was, I sent a note back to Joyce. It reminded me of uh, uh, of another picture that was circulating a little bit ago. This one right here. <laughs> the Olin Mills. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but no, great picture though. That yeah, was that's that really is a cool. nice picture. And that couple, uh, couple is heading up north to get Christmas trees and uh, yeah, trees it, 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 it's a great day to grow up. But I don't know about it's going to be a great day to go get it Friday. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, <laughs> we got to go up to. Uh, we'll be leaving. Uh, we'll be leaving early Friday to go up to Wisconsin to get the wreaths and stuff. So hopefully we'll. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to get up there and back and. It kind of surprised me when Jason was talking about uh, accumulating snow. I thought we were supposed to have flurries, but, um, you know, we've been going up this time of year for many, many years, and we've never had bad weather. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. It'll get but, you in uh, the Christmas spirit. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. You'll be fine. You'll yeah, be fine. Yeah. And it's, uh, if nothing else, I'll be uh, snowed in the truck with uh, Joyce and a little dog. So what the oh, heck? There you go. So you got your wicked yeah, yeah, That Perfect. can't be that bad. That's All right. right. So we are, we're uh, talking uh, poinsettias. Poinsettias, yep. And uh, I just uh, I brought this one, and I this is a this is a new color this year. This is called uh, this is a uh, the variety is Prestige, and it is a burgundy color. Um, I'm As hopeful. I say, it seemed a deeper red than. Yeah, normal. and I'm hopeful that the the camera it it doesn't really do it justice to show how dark it is, mm -hmm. but. Uh, but uh, that is one of the new colors, and then we—I uh, think Lou has some pictures of mm -hmm. some of the other colors and stuff that we have. But that's one of the new Very colors. Pretty. Yeah, this particular variety doesn't really um, isn't in full color for another couple of weeks, so those blooms will get quite a little bit bigger and darker as time goes on. But uh, and what's that one called? Uh, it, that's just called Prestige Burgundy. Prestige, Pre Pre Burgundy. Pre Prestige is the variety. There's, Got it. Uh, you know, there's back in the olden days, there just used to be. Uh, um, there was uh, it was Annette Haig, and I don't know if that's who kind of why it was named after her. But you know, 20 years ago, you got red, white, and pink. Right. And and now there's just so many different, so many different uh, colors, colors and options, and, uh, and you guys and have quite a few stuff. of them. Yeah, yeah. And how long will these things last once the colors bloom to their, their fullest extent? Well, you know, if you take care of them, they just last forever anymore. I mean, again, back in the olden days, they was a booger. They was hard to grow. <laughs> they was hard to keep alive. Uh, but nowadays, the, these new varieties and stuff, you can keep those. Uh, we have tons and tons of people come in the greenhouse in the spring and say, well, you know, their point set is still doing good, but they're tired of it, so they're going to throw it out or what have you. And, wow. And, uh, but, yeah, there's no reason that um, you can't keep them forever. It's just a matter of, you know, you got to uh, – watering poinsettias is very important. They don't like to be – um, they don't like to be too wet, but you know you got to water them. And I think, uh, you know, we kind of talked about this last year. And one of the one of the best ways to to do it that people have said that works marvelously is like on a six inch plant, you just take a regular size ice cube once a day, and just lay it in there in the dirt. And that's about the and, right and that's, amount. That's about the right amount of water to keep that alive. So make that part of your routine. So, yeah, make that part of your routine. And uh, now, you, you know, there's some people just can't raise flowers, and that's just, you know, how that is. We so, don't know who. You know, I don't know any, I I don't that, know anybody I feel right like off, the ice cube uh, trick, doesn't that hurt the plant at all, having cold? That well, right I, 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 I don't think it does it any good, but, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I don't I, think. Because I feel like that's how I killed my Christmas <laughs> cactus last year. Because you said just keep. Well, with, with the Christmas cactus, that may be. But <clears throat> the thing is with this, if you. Uh, it's like in the summer when I have hanging baskets in the greenhouse, right. you know, okay, I water them with cold water. Mm -hmm. But when that water runs through that dirt and drips on me, the water is actually warm. Okay. Because the dirt is warm enough that it, um, you know, I wouldn't put it right up against the stem or anything, but I... Okay, maybe I, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I, I don't think, and with Christmas cactus, that, I don't, you know, those are in a smaller pot or anything, but... Uh, but uh, I right. think that that's something that we works. do have some pictures but of we do some, have some of the other others. colors here and there, stuff. There, Joyce oh, took so these. Oh, so pretty. That those look good. Uh, yeah, the, the, that color there, that pink and white, that's a, uh, called marble, and then that's uh, you know pink there behind it, and some white clear in the back. Um, 
There's some more of the burgundy, and you can see you can see how those burgundy are not quite as far along as the right. uh, as the other colors. You see colors. more green there with yes, them. Yes, yes. Oh wow, and, uh, those are pretty too. That's white. bright, and that's yeah. a, that's a new. Uh, you know, white uh, over the years has always been. A lot of people think those look more yellow, and they they kind of do have a yellow tinge to them. But as again, as things are evolving in in the poinsettia industry, that is a very nice white. So the white of this year are really a decent white. So how many different colors do you do you think you have on hand? Uh, we have probably ten different colors. Okay. You know, we have the uh, you, you know we have the uh, the glitter, which is you, you know that mixed color, and there's marble and pink and white and red and and uh, yeah, we have probably about ten different. And how colors. soon will people start snapping these up? Well, you know, I got uh, uh, next week. We deliver probably I don't know. There's probably four or five churches that take some pretty good numbers before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. there, there's there's several, we do a lot of churches and uh, and uh, there's several of them that take them before Thanksgiving. So they're, all, they're often- Believe it or not, we're about five weeks away from Christmas. It's hard to believe. Yeah, and you know, Thanksgiving, uh, what, a week from tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. a week and, from tomorrow and, yeah. and, thanks, and Christmas just not yeah. to, uh, hop, skip and a jump. So you're going up and getting trees breathed. So when can uh, people re, start re, coming in? Are, or the trees are here. Oh, trees, they are. Trees okay. came in, got here. Okay. Trees, cre trees got here, uh, they're out there. Um, like I say, we'll go up and get the wreaths. Um, Saturday we uh, we get back and everything. We'll have uh, we'll be ready to go. And like I say, we're starting to sell a few poinsettias. Uh, trees will be ready. Uh, I hate to see the weather. That one of the most important things for us is to have nice weather, so people can get out and buy poinsettias and stuff. Right. And I mean we've had. 60 and 70 degree weather all along and now it's supposed to start getting down in the teens <laughs> you know so we really don't need that it's uh, it's a lot more enjoyable to go out there and pick out a tree when the weather's warm but uh, we'll have them uh, out and going this weekend and uh, got some beautiful Fraser firs in this year we got trees up to 12 foot tall and, uh, and one thing you mentioned a couple weeks ago when you were here when we were talking about getting uh, <clears throat> fresh cut trees it doesn't matter if you wait till the week before Christmas or you get them right now, they're already cut now. Once they're cut, I mean, once they're cut, they're cut. And, and you know, my opinion is if you take that tree home, when, when you buy a tree from us, we'll put a, the most important thing with the fresh tree is to be sure that it has a fresh cut on it. So, um, you know, we always put a fresh cut on the tree when we take it. And if you take that home and get it in the stand with water, that tree will suck up a lot of water, especially, you know, the first week or so. So if you uh, get that in water, that's going to be better than setting somewhere where it doesn't have any water in it. Um, the, the other thing that people don't realize so much about the trees is some of that stuff is something that um, nobody really has any control over because where that tree is grown up in Wisconsin, it, it, what, what the ideal situation for those trees is, is to have plenty of moisture all through the year so that tree can take up water. If it's, if it's an exceptionally dry year up there when they cut that tree, that tree is already going to be a little bit dry. And uh, whereas if it's if it's wet and rainy up there, that tree will have plenty of moisture in it. And uh, but the main thing is get a fresh cut on it, get it in the stand. Uh, I always tell people put it in the stand, water it with warm water, and that'll keep that sap nice and uh, nice and loose. And if you ever let that let that tree run dry, and you if that tree runs completely dry and you water it again, that tree will probably never take up water again because once the bud of that tree saps over, which is why you put the fresh cut on it. So it Would you have to put apart. another fresh cut? You have on to it? put another. That's the only way you can do it is to put okay. another fresh cut on it. And right. you know, these people that buy these ten and twelve foot trees that are genuine trees, it's tough to take them down and put a fresh cut on it and start all over. Right. So you want to be sure. So that people want to head out and see all the gorgeous poinsettias you have, the trees now, things like that. Yep. When's the, when Saturday can they start morning? Out? Saturday morning, we'll be uh, off and running. We'll be open Yay. seven days a week starting Saturday, uh, except for Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll be off and running and ready to go. And uh, Joyce is going to come in next week and, and decorate a poinsettia and oh, that's so show cool. you how, awesome. how to Great. make the porch pots and things like that. Oh, and, excellent! And we'll be off and running. So yeah, come works. out and see us. We'll be there starting Saturday. All right, have a safe trip, my friend. You bet. Thank right, you, buddy. guys. Thank you so much.